Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be talking about classes in HTML. We're going to show you how you can use classes to define styles once and use them on several different elements. Uh, so you're essentially adding a descriptor to that element that you can use CSS on. So let's get going on that right now. So in the last video, we talked about IDs and we showed that you can do things with IDs like link to them, or you can even style based off of them. Now I'm actually going to delete this giant uh, long text paragraph we had here is just uh, there for that previous example. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so that's gone. I'm also going to get rid of this link to footer. We don't want that anymore. And everything looks just fine. So now just like we had ID, we also have what's called a HTML class. Now we could define a class simply by saying class equals and then quotes like that. And then we can give our class name. And just like IDs, you're going to want to have these classes be uh, one word and they're going to want to be lowercase with no spaces. So you can use something like hyphens or underscores to uh, separate your words. Now, now many people have different preferences about hyphens versus underscores, and that's just going to be with the team you're working with. However, I personally only use uh, hyphens in my CSS. And you'll see a lot of projects that are just exclusively using hyphens. We can define a class simply by giving it a name like intro hyphen text, okay? And so just like we had our ID, let's go ahead and copy this class. Now our intro text can be used to style off of just like we did our ID and we can say period intro text. So with an ID, it was a pound with a class. It's a period and we can give this a font hyphen size of 18 pixels and let's save this. Now, if we check our HTML, when we refresh, if I right click on this paragraph text and click inspect element, you'll see that we have this class intro text and the font size is being applied as 18 pixels. So how are IDs different from classes? Well, for one, we can't link to a class like you could an ID, so we can't use an anchor tag to jump to a class. And where IDs were meant to be used once per document, classes are meant to be reused. For instance, a class would come in here and we could drop this intro text class on several paragraphs, right? So let's actually make a copy of this paragraph exactly. And let's paste it here. So in a real world example, you might see this class intro text being reused where you would not see this ID being reused. So just like so, we now have two paragraphs and sure, they're maybe the same. We can change them just a little bit here. Just to get rid of that span. I'm learning two websites. Um, and so now this intro text class is not only going to be applied to both, it's completely valid. So now the purpose of classes really is to pass along a style that might be reusable. For instance, this intro text, anytime we have this, it's going to be font size 18. And therefore, any paragraph we want to contain the styles, we can just throw that class onto and it will get those styles. So classes make it possible to basically say, here's a group of CSS that's going to be attached to anything you attach the class to. And IDs where you had an ID, uh, classes, you can have multiple classes. So for intro text, we could have intro text and we could also have, we could just have a class and we'll call this part two, like so. Uh, this isn't a great class name. Uh, we'll get into more of that later strategy and stuff like that. But for right now, you can see that we have this intro part two. Okay, so we have intro text and we have part two. And let's give this a color of purple. Okay, now if we come back to our page and refresh, you'll see if we hover over the main text and click on it, we get 18 pixels for our font size. And if we hover over the intro text part two, you can see that both of the properties are being assigned. So intro text and the color purple. So you can have multiple classes that pass in multiple different sort of properties and combinations. So a lot of larger projects and CSS frameworks are built so that they have an organized structure of classes to define their elements and how they're interacting on the page. That way, instead of having to 
define the styles for every single item individually on your page, you can set up a set of rules essentially with these classes and therefore you can control the look and feel of your site just by these classes. So this is an HTML class. And like I said, this is just the basics. We're gonna be getting into things like strategy for how to use them in later videos. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.